Good morning, my students. Our lesson today is approximation, and this sign is a sign of approximation. If Ahmed was standing at this number, and he is closer to his home, and he wants to go to his nanny's home, because his nanny is making him cookies and sweets. So, what is the closer distance for Ahmed? Is he closer from home, or he's closer to his nanny's home? Ahmed choose to get to home or to choose to get to Nani's home and the weather is today is raining so he have to decide which distance is the smaller distance. So as you see the distance from Ahmed to his home is smaller so he will choose to go to his home which contains the number 410. What if he is standing at 413 who was standing here? So what about the distance? away from his home and away from his nanny's home. Which one is the greater distance and which one is the smaller? The smaller distance is a distance from his home and the greater distance to the, his nanny's home. So he chooses the smaller distance and he will go back to his home at 410. What if Ahmed is standing at 419? So the distance between his nanny's home and his home the distance here is smaller than the distance away from his home. So he will choose to go to his nanny's home, so he will choose to go to the number 420. Let me ask you, what about the number 414, if he is standing at 414? Which way is the smaller way? Which, which distance is the smaller distance? His home or his nanny's home? So as you see, the smaller distance is his home, so we're gonna, we're gonna walk to 410 away to his home. So what about 412? What if he was standing here? This is the distance away from his home and this is the distance to his nanny's home. So the smaller distance will be 410. So let's take another example. What if Ahmed is standing at 417? So this is the distance to Nani's home, and this is the distance to his home. Which one is the smaller distance? This is the distance to 420, so we're gonna choose to go to 420. What should we do? What is the rule of approximation? This number is gonna be 410. 411 is gonna be 410. What numbers that change it? We change the number one, into zero. So what number it changed here? We changed this one into two and the nine it changed into zero. So to approximate to the nearest ten, you mark the digit ten and underline the following digit. So this number one contains the next digit one and this one is a small number or a weak number. The distance away from his home is smaller than the distance for his nanny's home. So this one is weak, it's not gonna increase the one. So the one is still as it is, and this one is turned into zero. What if the next digit is a greater number? So we're gonna circle the number one, which is the tenth digit. And this nine is a strong number. I have nine. I walk the nine steps away from my home. It's just only one step to reach my, my nanny's home. So this is a strong number. So it's gonna be turned into zero, and this one will be increased by one. So one plus one equals two. So we are having a weak numbers and a strong numbers. I mean by weak numbers and strong numbers, this is the following numbers. The numbers after the market digit. So, if you have the number 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, so the circle, the number is not going to be increased, but if you have the number 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, so the circle, the number is going to be increased by 1. Let me remember you about changing these fractions into decimals. So, we can exchange the number half and replace it by 0.5, and we can replace the number quarter by putting 0.25 and we can replace the number 1 over 8 by putting 0.125 and the 3 quarters can be replaced by 
seven five. So let's take some examples and see how can we solve. We want to approximate to the nearest ten. So to approximate to the nearest ten, I have to determine the position of the the zion, uh, sorry the position of the digit ten. So here is unit and here is 10. I'm going to circle the number in the 10th digit and underline the following digit. So 4, is it a weak number or a strong number? So 4 is from the weakest number. So this 4 is not going to increase the 2. So the 2 still as it is 2. And this 4 is going to turn it into 0. It's not going to help the 2 to be greater. And we have remaining 5. So 5 will be as it is. Let's see another example. We want to approximate to the nearest 10. So we have to make a circle on the 10 digit. And underline the following digit. We have the number 5. This 5 is a strong number. So this 5 is going to be turned into a 0. And it's going to increase 9 by 1. So after 9, after 9 we count 10. So we put 0 and carry up. 1, 1 and 0 equal 1, and we have 3. So the answer is 3,100. Let's take another example. We approximate to the nearest 10, so we're going to circle the digit 10, which is this 9, and underline the following digit, which is this 9. So 9 is a greater number. It will be turned into 0, and the following number will also turn it into 0. And this 9, the circle to 9, will going to be increased by 1. So 9 plus 1 equals 10. So we put 0 and carry up. 1, 1 and 9 equal 10. So we're going to put 10. So the final answer is 1000.0. And you know that you can cancel 0, .0 if it is after a decimal point. So the answer is 1000. The next one is 35 and a half. So first we're going to make equal and write this number as a decimal. As we said before, that you can replace this half by putting 0.5. Now, we want to change, we want to approximate this number into the 10 digit. So we're going to circle the 10 digit and underline the following digit. Here we have 5, and 5 is a strong number. So this 5 is going to be turned into a 0, and this 3 is going to be increased by 1. So 3 plus 1 equal 4, and as we know that the following digits are also turned into 0. So this number is approximately equal 40. Next one, we're going to circle the 10 digit, and underline the following digit. We have 3. And this 3 is a smaller number or a weak number. So this 3 is going to be turned into 0. And it's not going to help the circle 3. And the following digit also will be turned into 0. And the circle digit, which is 3, is going to be stay as it is 3. So the answer is 30. Here we have, this is the 10 digit. And this is the following digit 7. 7 is a, yes, it's correct, this is a strong number. So this 7 is going to turn it into 0, and it will increase this 9 by 1. So after 9, 10, we put 0 and carry up 1. 1 and 9 is 10, so our answer will be 1,000. Here we have 21,395, so the 10 digit is 9, and the following digit is 5. As you know, that 5 is a, yes, that's correct, is a strong number. So this 5 is going to turn it into 0 and increases the 9 because it is strong by 1. After 9, 9 plus 1 equals 10. So we're going to put 0 and carry up 1. 1 and 3 equal 4. And we have 1 and 2. So our answer is 21,400. The next number is 108. So... We're going to circle the 10 digit, which is 0, and underline the following digit, which is 8. So 8, as you know, is a, yes, it's a strong number. So this 8 is turned into 0, and this 0 is going to increase by 1 because of 8. It is a strong number. So this 0 going to increase by 1. It will be 1, and the remaining number is 1. So our answer is 110. 
sorry, 110. So the next page, we're gonna solve approximate to the nearest 100. So we're gonna circle the digit that represent the 100. And the digit which represents the 100 here is this zero. So we circle the 100 digit and underline the following digit. As you know that nine is a strong number, so this nine gonna increase the zero by one, and this nine and the following digit is gonna be turned into zeros, and this zero is gonna increase by one, zero plus one equal one, and we have three, so the answer is 3,100. We're gonna approximate to the nearest 10, so you have to circle the, sorry, to the nearest 100, so you're gonna circle the 100 digit, and underline the following digit. All the following digit will be turned into zeros. And let's see, this nine is a strong number, so it's gonna increase nine by one. So after nine is 10, so our answer is 1000. We have 35 and a half. So first we have, we have to change this number into a decimal number. So we put 35 and we're gonna change this half into point as we mentioned before. Where is the hundred digit here? Where is the digit that we should circle? There is no hundred digit because this is unit and this is tens. Where is the hundred digit? There is no hundred tens. So I'm gonna put zero in the hundredth digit because it is, there is no number here. So this is the hundredth digit. And circle the hundredth digit. The following number is three. And as we know, all the following numbers will be turned into zeros. And this three is a weak number, so it's not gonna be increased the zero, so the zero still as it is. So our answer is zero, because zero point zero is gonna be zero. The next question, we want to approximate the following to the nearest 1000. So we have to circle the digit 1000. So let's take this number, this number is called 500. Here is the unit digit, and this is tens, and this is Hundred. There is no digit for a thousand. So if you didn't find the digit that you want, you just put a zero in its place. So this number can be written as zero five zero zero, and we will approximate it. We put this zero because we didn't find the thousand digit. So we have to circle this and underline the following digit. You know that all the following digit will be turned into zeros. The, and we know that five is a strong number, so this five gonna increase this one by this zero by one. So after zero, it's one, and we have three zeros. So the answer is one thousand. So five is a strong number; it increases the zero. The zero will be one. So our answer is one thousand. Next question: We want to approximate to the nearest thousand, so we're gonna circle the thousand. Here is unit tens hundred thousand, so we're gonna circle the digit nine and underline the following digit. You know that all the following digit turn it into zeros. And this nine, the, the, her, her following digit is eight. So this eight is a strong number. So it's gonna increase nine by one. After nine, we have 10. So the answer is 10,000. The following example, we have 695 and a half. So we have to change this number into decimal. So we're gonna write 695, and this half can be canceled and put 0.5 instead of half. So here is the unit, here is the tenth, here is the hundred. There is no thousand digit, so we're gonna put zero to represent the thousand digit. Now we want to approximate to the nearest thousand, we circle the thousand digit and underline the following digit. All the following digits gonna turn it into zeros. And this six is a strong number, so it will increase this zero by one. So after zero, we have one. So this is approximately equal 1000. We can cancel point zero because the zero after the point has no meaning. Next question, we have to approximate the following to the nearest 10. Thousand. So first we have to circle the digit which represent the ten thousand. Here is the unit tens hundred. This is thousand and there is no digit for ten thousand. As we know before, if you didn't find your digit, you just put a zero and this is the digit which is ten thousand. 
Now, we circle the 10,000 and underline the following digit. All the following digits will be turned into zeros. And this five is a strong number, so it's gonna increase the zero by one, so it's gonna be one. So our answer will be 10,000. The next example, here is unit, here is eight in 10, here is six in 100, and nine in 1,000. There is no a digit represents the 10,000, so we have to put a zero. So the number is B, nine, zero, nine, six, eight, one. The digit I will gonna approximate is zero, and I underline the following digit. So all the following digit will be turned into zeros. Here is zero, 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 zero. And this nine is a strong number, so it's gonna increase the zero by one. So after zero, we have one. So this number is approximately equal also 10,000. The next example, we have to change this number into decimal, so we're going to write the same number, 88,695, and we're going to change the quarter into 0.25.